Hey guys, what's going on? Just got this in from uh, Italy. The uh, Renzo uh, Beltrame or Beltrame made this. And what's odd about this is the amount of pins that are in the scales. Uh, there are 20 more pins on these dark horn scales than I've ever seen on any other knife. Uh, possibly 20, 20 different ways to enhance the possibility of cracking. <laughs> but, looking at it, uh, I seriously doubt that that's going to happen. Fingers crossed. Uh, it says Stiletto, Italy on it. And uh, it's got a little oil on there. I'm not going to wipe that off. I'm leaving that on. Beautiful scales, though. Just a production uh, production piece that's uh, been had the scales uh, kind of customized with the pins. Good fast snap to it. Sits a little, little left when it's closed. You can see how it rides. Good snap to it, nice, straight, straight as could be. Bannet blade. Yeah, all in all, it's not a bad piece. 85 bucks shipped, I can't bitch. And, uh, you know, hey, pretty good knife all in all. I've never seen one that is pinned like this. And if you guys have any, uh, by all means, toss up a video because I'd like to see another knife that has been pinned as many times as this one. Uh, the guy did a good job. I don't know too much about Ren I know Renzo Pescato. I know of him. I don't know of uh, Renzo Beltrami. Uh, although this did come from uh, Italy. Same place as Angelo's uh, pieces. My bat swings... Uh, I'm still waiting on those. Those are coming. And I'll toss up a video when I get those in. Anyway, yeah, it's just a it's a production knife that uh that I just couldn't pass up. Beautiful, beautiful uh scales. The camera doesn't really do it do it justice, but doing the best I can. Anyway, guys take it easy, keep collecting, and uh Later on, if you guys have any uh, multi-pin knives or any knives from uh, from Renzo, uh, put them up by all means because, you know, we like checking them out. Later, guys. Keep collecting. Enjoy.